Good morning from Casa Los Fideli in Puerto Escondido. Today we're bringing you into our lives as uh, what, what, what our daily lives look like. <laughs> I'm still asleep. So right here is our dorm room where we uh, share with two other people. Uh, Jenny and I have the bunk beds and we honestly just use the top bunk bed. And the bottom one is our office space. Mm -hmm. We keep all of our stuff there, our cameras and stuff like that. But yeah, this is what dorm life looks like as a married couple. Hey. So let me continue giving you a tour of Casa Los Vili. Right here we have the hammocks. Also the co-working space. And to make use and, and to stay on a budget, we normally use the, the kitchen to be able to cook our own meals and get ready for the day. So why are we in dorm rooms? Well, we're here at Casa Los Odele because we came here as guests a year ago and we really liked it. Uh, we became friends with the owners and we asked to see if we can volunteer in exchange for a bet. So six days a week, Jenny or I exchange within the bar and do activities. We get one day off and in exchange we get a dorm room bed for free. So part of the package also includes us getting a continental breakfast. So I'm going to come and get my coffee and tea. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Bien, bien. Si les pido un café americano y un té, por favor. Sí. Sounds good. I like to take it easy in the mornings and say hi to the staff, see what people are up to. Let's go see if Juanito, the accountant, is here. Hola, güero. ¿Cómo estás? Saluda. Estoy buscando a Juanito. ¿Cómo está? No, no, me parece. Ah, ok, gracias. That was Güero. He is the management for the cleaning staff. He makes sure this place is spotless. Let's go say hi to the reception. Hola, buenos días, saluden. Esta es Malena, Malena works the reception. She says hi to everybody, checks everybody in. Juanito. Hola. Hi, Juanito is our accountant and our boss. Right, he's the boss. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> boss. Yes. Hola, buenos días. Hola, buenos días. Hola, buenos días. They're a little shy this morning. <laughs> but Juanito um, is a big salsero and he teaches salsa classes here in Puerto Escondido. And particularly before we arrived, he was teaching the salsa and bachata classes here at Los Odeli on Fridays and teaching at the Selena Hotel on Thursdays. But since we arrived, it just so happened that he had a knee injury and, you know, perfect timing. We were able to help take over some of his classes. He's doing a little better, but he said, you know, might as well go ahead and keep teaching the classes until we leave. So we have two weeks left at this point and we're still hanging around and I'm like feeling like this is my home. So I'm already feeling like nervous to leave home. Thursday nights we usually do a language exchange where we practice English and Spanish for people who are visiting. Um, and so 
for the language exchange, we're having an international family dinner and having everybody bring something to share, whether that represents their country or just food that they like. It's usually a really good time. We're gonna be bringing guacamole con chapulines. So we're gonna go buy some grasshoppers and aguacates. And we figured we'll take you along uh, and show you around the market with us. Let's go. So it's like a, what, a 10 minute walk from our hostel because it's our, the hostel is super centrally located. So then you go into this and more into Centro and it's much more local. You don't really see tourists hanging out around here. It's everybody living their daily lives. I'm kind of hungry, so... You want to eat first and then shop? Yeah, otherwise we're going to be Shopping hangry. hungry. And nobody likes to shop hangry. <laughs> the full Mercado experience footage is posted exclusively to our Patreon members. If you're interested in exclusive content from us and would like to show your support for our channel, you too can join us at patreon.com slash eatbylatravel. Unos que seis? We need that menu, but hopefully other people are going to be okay with that. It's better flavor. It's really spicy. Try it, try it. Damn it, we couldn't find chapulines. The one shop. That seems to have them here, it's closed today. They, they didn't come in today, so... Uh, uh, so yeah, I don't think you find chapulines here in Puerto Escondido. They're all... Exactly. Yeah, I think you, they bring them from Oaxaca City. Mm -hmm. So... There's nothing we can do, really. <laughs> so, aside from doing the four hours of volunteer work at Los Odeli, uh, in order to make some extra money on the side, we teach salsa and bachata. We've been teaching Salsa and Bachata at Puerto Dreams Wednesday. Uh, also teaching at Selena on Thursdays and Bachata on Fridays at Los Odeli. And we also do private classes. Uh, thanks to the exposure, we've been able to get other private classes and private students. And we do them at the roof of Los Odeli, which is really beautiful. Salsa and Bachata class. We are going to go get our INE, our, uh, what's it called, the INE? It's the, it's the, the voters card from Mexico. <laughs> I actually don't know what INE stands for, we'll find out in a moment. But it's pre pretty much the identification that you use in Mexico to do any processes, open up a bank account. Uh, Anything really, when they ask for ID, people usually present the INE. And then after the INE, we have to teach English to the Los Odeli staff. So we're very busy people as you can see. By the way, be on the lookout. We're gonna share our experience on getting our INE because it's really important for you to get it when you're here in Mexico as a dual citizenship. Yes, if you're a dual citizen. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Okay, bye. bye. Well, that was quite the experience. Yeah, they, let's, they took forever, right? Yeah, let's go sit down and tell you the steps on how to get your INE or not and tell you about our experience. I don't know, it was a little strange, but uh, yeah, right, yeah, we'll, talk we'll about definitely it. share it. And don't forget, if you want to become a dual citizen, we'll set up the link right here so you guys can click straight to it and become dual citizens of Mexico and USA. So we're back from the INE and now we have to teach English to Los Odeli uh, cafe staff. Uh, it's an arrangement that we have. So keep hustling, keep hustling. From one thing to the next. Ready? Ready to rep. Feel like Batman and Robin here. 
Robin. 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 Oh, that was one heck of a class. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're still standing with that beautiful sunset in the background. Now we gotta get ready for the family dinner. So the next gonna, activity. So we're gonna prep for the guacamole. And then in between the activity, working the bar and the activity, we still gotta go teach salsa. Not in between, after. I mean after, after. yeah. Man, let's go. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to Café de Lenguas, the language exchange on Thursday nights here at Los Odeli. Today we have international family dinner for everyone to show off a dish either from their country or just some food that they would like to share with everybody. So I'll start. Uh, I'm Jenny, I'm from the USA, but I'm also Mexican. So I brought a bowl of guacamole, uh, mi estilo, meaning con mucho limón, cilantro, and a little bit of pepino. Yay, hi, I'm Ariel. I am also from the US. I am not Italian and I did not make this. <laughs> but I did study abroad in Italy, so I brought two pizzas. Let's see. From the here. best pizza place. From the in best Puerto. pizza place. Um, we have this one is a quattro formaggi, and then we have another one. I think this one is like arugula oh, and prosciutto. Yeah. This is the girl who works at the front desk. This is what she says is the best. She's had them all. Cool, cool, next. Okay, so we also brought an Italian dish, which is called bruschetta, and next to this we made some salmon wraps with cream cheese, lettuce, and cucumber. Cucumber? cucumber? Yes. Yeah. Did you guys say where you're from? No. Uh, we're my from name is Masha Simon. I'm both Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I'm from the States, DC, and I brought some pastries. No idea what they're called, because it was a last minute thing, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Next, what? Next, next, next. And uh, I'm Jason. This is Amanda. Uh, we're from California, and then uh, we just brought our favorite food: bean and cheese taquitos. Nice. Did you make that or did you buy it? Hi, I'm Fernando. I'm a Spanish, and I did uh, potato somalet, the most typical Spanish food. Spanish tortillas. Yeah. Uh, les traje tacos, papatots. <laughs> Nada más. Sí. Oh. Y chili, algo de chili. Okay, this is a flauta, you know, a taco dorado. It has um, potato, uh, potato potatoes much inside because I know many people is vegetarian here. But no worries, here in Mexico we also have uh, veg veggies friendly food. What is your name and where are you from? Yo soy Malena y yo soy de acá, soy local. De, 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 de la costa de Oaxaca, yo soy oaxaqueña. Oh, That's good, buen provecho ya. We leave our children, I feel like we leave our children behind now that we fed everybody. Uh, it's time to head over to Selena Hotel to give the salsa class which starts in about 10 minutes at nine o'clock. So let's go get a taxi. Yes? Taxi para casa los Okay. Phew, okay, so we made it just in time. When we arrive, the first thing we do is try to recruit dancers, warm up, and then get straight to the lesson. Let's go, streets work. We have salsa class starting in a few moments. Moments, it's completely free. If you would like to join us, we're gonna start. Six, 
seven. Cross body knee. Five, six, seven. Good. One, two, three. Five, six, What time is it? It's 11.15. It's not that late. The music's still going on for at least another hour. But... We're wiped dead. out. And this is our day. You know what we do? We get up and do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> Nor Norberto is... Nos cuida de noche. Yeah, Norberto? Si. Sí. The best. <laughs> Alberto is the best. <sighs> what a night, what a day. We hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> a a lot day of, in our lives. <laughs> a lot of people are asking us to show you a day in our lives. So here it is. It was a, a long video, but ex this it is a long day. It was a long day. Uh, make sure to hit that like, subscribe. Thank you for supporting our channel. And let us know what you think in the comments down below. We would take you to bed so we can go to <laughs> sleep, but we don't want to wake up our roomies. So uh, it's like a night right here. So we're going to go shower because we're super smelly. And you should too. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Ciao.